access to safe drinking water is not a privilege for everyone and it remains a challenge to many in arid and semi-arid areas. But with the help of technology, water crisis in Dirib Gombo in Marasubit County is slowly becoming a thing of the past. Women no longer have to trek for hours to fetch water. They can now access the pre precious commodity through a cheap coin. Najma Ismail with the details. It's 9 a.m. in Saku area, Marsabit County. The women are seen carrying their jerry cans on their way to fetch water. But unlike what it was several years ago, hours of walking in the wee hours of the morning in search of the precious commodity has been conveniently reduced to water access just a few meters from their homes. The women are approaching not a river or a borehole, but a water kiosk, an automated vending machine for water supply through a chip coin where users load it with credit and use it to buy water. It is a permanent water source in the drought-stricken area and a relief to the locals who have full control of how much water they buy simply by loading up their chip coins. The locals can load their tokens with up to a thousand shillings with a 20-litre jerrycan going for only five shillings. This is enough for domestic use for most of the households in Dirib Gombo. The self-service water kiosk enables the locals get water any time of the day or night. And it also regulates the amount one consumes. Before this technology, there was massive water wastage. A lot of water used to go to waste, with many leaving the taps open. The community also used to lose a lot of money in terms of wastage and lack of payment by the locals. Banda ya pesa, alikuwa watu na shota maji, iko shida sana. Kila mutu na, na beba pesa na toroka. Wase na kimbilia, bunda, alafu na kimbilia wanawake ama watoto. Watoto wangene wana the five-year-old kiosk has become a source of income for the community generating at least 50,000 shillings every month. Many projects have been born through these water ATMs. Pesa ya kuansa, tuli fence ya shamba, shamba ya kakumi, tunajenga fence. Ya makambili, Tuliweka sitima kisima. Sasa kisima wanatumia eh, sitima, sola na jereta. Bada eh, tuliununua ardi ya kaburi kwa community eh, katano. Tuliununua gari moja probox. Tunasaidia sisi na wanainchi ya community wakati emergency. Before the water gets to these kiosks, it has to undergo several processes to make it fit for human consumption. Unlike other water kiosks in the area that get their water from a spring, this particular one is a borehole. The borehole, however, contains excessive minerals making the water unsafe for drinking. The technology you see here is for purifying the water. Basically, the, the water is very hard, saline, and also have got other several metals, uh, which are, they are not necessarily harmful, but when they are in excess, they are harmful. So they had to do mitigation. Mm. And that mitigation is what is this uh, treatment plant is about. So when you see these many things here, yes. it is to do that. One, they had to make the water soft. 
yes. making the water salt because it is hard is such that you are able to use a necessary uh, detergent. Mm -hmm. you, don't use, you don't use excessively. Mm -hmm. And also, it does not have scaling. It is also not dangerous to your body. Mm -hmm. So you have to make it soft. And then there are other minerals that need to be removed, whereby you, you add some other chemicals mm -hmm. to make them uh, uh, precipitate. That is, we use a lime and a soda arch. That's what we use mm -hmm. to, to do the, to soften it. Even after the chemicals are added, the salinity of the water is still very high, and therefore a surface water that is soft is needed to dilute it in order to make it safe. These, these chambers you see here are for uh, for curation, yes. and also mix. it is mixing. You make them mix, and as it is flowing slowly, all this will give it a long journey. Mm. What you are trying to do is to give it a long journey. Yes. It is settling. It is settling. The, the precipitates settle down, and the clear water it, it uh, exits here. It is entering there. Deposits are down, you remove them by score, you see it outside, yes. and then the good water goes to the other chamber. Yes. That other chamber is composite uh, settlement and also further treatment and filtration. So that all any those uh, precipitates, yes. which you could see some turbidity, and also any turbidity from the surface water, because you know surface water is uh, open to, da to dust. Yes. So you, can, you need to do a bit of uh, is, is any coagulation. Mm. That's why you also use alum. This, this one is here, alum. So once it goes there, it is filtered. Mm. So this is the borehole water, okay. and this is the uh, the pan the pan water. water. So the 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 ratio, according to the uh, report, mm -hmm. chemical report, yes. uh, we need 70 percent of this and that percent of this. Okay. With that mixing, mm -hmm. you have neutralized the salinity. You can measure to get that you are you are getting the 70 yeah. percent, and then this one to be about that percent. <laughs> But for this mother of two, she has no idea what the process of getting this clean water to her household is. Just like her neighbors in Dirib Gombo, she's happy that she can access water conveniently through her chip coin. Hingan, we are a meat, a chuffer with the Ram Haribushani were a bad. A more oja Sagalent Abad Ramna for Naga Lam Yole took your lady, and Yole be why I meet a Kansagalent Abad. Najma is smile, Katie and news. Technology at its best. We want to take a short break here on KTN News Center. When we come back, I will be taking you to the round table of the Health Benefits Advisory Panel. Don't go too far.